Now at 530, Connecticut's yet another step closer to legalize pot. Lawmakers passed one of several bills to address licensing and fees, and Hartford is just one community that wants to participate and benefit. Chief Capitol reporter Susan Rath is live for us right now. She's in the capital city with more details on this tonight. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mark. Hartford is definitely one of those communities that is ready. In fact, they've already passed special zoning regulations, which would allow marijuana to be grown and sold for recreational use. But the capital city is also very serious that some of the revenue from this should go back into this community. Connecticut has four producers and nine dispensaries for medicinal marijuana, but those numbers could grow significantly if lawmakers legalize marijuana for recreational use. We really don't want a cap on licensing. Kieber Smith Bolden is considered a marijuana pioneer. She's the president of Canna Health. They assess patients applying for medical cannabis. If recreational marijuana is approved, she wants to make sure big corporations don't take over the industry. People from communities that were affected by the war on drugs, communities that were over police have first opportunities in this industry. Community investment is important to lawmakers like State Senator Doug McCrory, who grew up in Hartford, but he voted against the bill that passed Monday. They didn't speak to the fact that how those communities, again, will benefit from doing this. Um, again, the devil's in the details. And if I have my way, I will make sure provisions are made. There are very few details right now. We don't know how many growers there will be or how many dispensaries. That needs to be reinvested in our communities. Diane Best is a community activist in a neighborhood hard hit by drugs and crime. She also feels revenue should benefit the city for things like education, and there should be forgiveness for those convicted of marijuana crimes. We need for people who, were, who are currently incarcerated, formerly incarcerated, we need sentences commuted, we need records expunged. And that may be one of, the, one of the most complicated things part of this industry. In fact, states like Colorado and California are still trying to sort out how to deal with people with criminal records from marijuana. That is something that the Judiciary Committee is expected to take up when they meet this Thursday. And we're expecting a vote out of that committee. We're live in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.